Hi guys, Black Hawk here. Today we are here with RX Vega 64. I want to do second part of beginner's guide. So in first um, part of beginner's guide, guide we applied overclocks and we applied memory timings. But if we want to go step further, um, we need to flash our Vega 64 into Vega 56. Yes, you have heard me right. Vega 56 is much better for mining. Um, there are many benefits like um, it gives the same hash rate at around 40 watts lower power consumption. This means less heat and this means more stability. So let's jump into it. First, you need to know which uh, model of card you have. I have Sapphire um, reference model, Blower model. So you need to download exact um, BIOS um, of your model just um, Vega 60, uh, 56, sorry. For a download uh, BIOS, you need to go to um, Tech Power Up. Um, best is to, to just um, write here, um, type here, sorry, um, BIOS Vega 56, and it will um, lead you straight to the um, um, Vega 56 um, BIOS collection. You need to go here. Um, okay, so here are all Vega 56 biases. I downloaded um, Sapphire, not this one because this is Nitro. Uh, so Sapphire, Nitro, Nitro, no. Um, Sapphire, this one. Um, this is the bias I downloaded, but you need to download BIOS that is the same as your card. Probably not all of you have um, Sapphire reference models, of course. And um, another thing you need to confirm is that this um, memory here is the same like yours. So mine is Samsung, this is OK. OK, I already have this BIOS um, on uh, the desktop, so I'm not going to download it again. Then you need to have this AMD VB Flash program. I'm using uh, CLI version because I like it. Um, you need to put Vega 56 BIOS into the same folder with your um, AMD VB Flash program. You need to run the, this Insta Tool 64 as administrator. By the way, I will put all the links um, in the description. And then you need to run CMD command prompt as administrator. You need to write CD, you need to navigate to this folder. You write cd space this and then amd vb flash dash i. I advise you to have only one card in the system once you are flashing um, just to make sure everything is okay. amd vb flash dash p zero. This zero is adapter number. So you can see zero around my Vega and then you need to to put in the name of new BIOS that you want to flash to your card. So this, and don't forget dot .rom. Press enter, and you will get these messages. And at the end, you should get um, restart system to complete the BIOS update. Um, close the program, select me restart, and I will be right back. Okay guys, I am back after the restart, so if everything went fine, you should be able to get into Windows and see the, the picture on the screen. Let's check Device Manager, in Display Adapters, okay, everything looks fine, Radeon RX Vega, this device is working properly, everything looks fine. Oh, sorry about this. Let's um, now do the same thing like in um, uh, with Vega 64 in Beginner Guide Part 1. Um, let's crank up the fans because this card tends to get very hot like this and let's start mining program to see what hash rates we get on stock settings. Let me fast forward. Okay guys, as you can see we are getting 38.2 mega hash on stock settings and uh, power consumption is 230 for the whole system, 210 watts for GPU alone. So power consumption on Vega 56 is um, a lot lower than on Vega 64. So this is good. 
Now uh, we, we need to apply overclocks. Um, let's let's um, do some safe overclocks for this guide. Uh, let's put this to 980 and um, here we can put 830. Here we can put um, 150 and the same 8, 830. Um, sorry. Okay, let's uh, let's press apply and see what hash rates we get with these overclocks. Uh, in the meantime, we can get ready to apply let's do like this to apply memory timings. Um, we will need this uh, AMD memory tweak tool. Yeah. Okay, let's do like this and um, I already have saved um, saved timings you can see them here but first um, first let um, let's see what hash rates we get with overclocks only 50 like this so with overclocks alone we are getting 46.5 mega hash so this is huge difference if you compare with Vega 64 overclocks alone and we are using the same 180 watts like uh, Vega 64 with overclocks alone so now let's um, let's use also memory timings to see what we will get um, with memory timings um, you can see one thing here, you can see TMEM is lower, of course we are using less power. Ok, hash rates go up, as you can see we are using around um, 190 watts for GPU alone. And um, let's see what hash rates we get, let's give it a few more uh, moments. Um, guys, um, you need to be aware that these memory timings and these overclocks will, will only work for Samsung HBM2 Vega. If you have Hynix, you will need different timings, you will need different um, overclocks. The same with Vega 64. Samsung has uh, one timings, Hynix needs uh, different timings and different overclocks. Okay, we are getting 51.3 mega hash um, at 190 watts. And there is just one more thing for us to do, and this is we, we, we need to apply these um, power play tables, the same like in uh, video or uh, in beginner's guide um, for Vega part one. For this, we need to know. Um, what is this number? Okay, zero 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 three, and you need to edit this file. Put here this number. Save. Let me show you again. You need to go into overdriven tool. You need to select your card. Right click up here. PP table editor and in here you will see these last four numbers you need to put those four numbers in here those need to be the same then you save it close and double click uh, yes ok and then you need to restart let me restart and I'll be right back ok guys I am back after restart um, I already applied timings and overclocks. Um, I forget to mention one thing before. Um, with Vega 56, you would like to um, put uh, your core overclocks into P1 state, not P7 like usually. This will help you um, reduce this SOC um, frequency down to 1027 and this will reduce power consumption. So 
this is better. Okay, after applying power play tables, you, are, you can see now that we are getting 51.27 MHz, but power consumption is 190 watts for whole system. So for GPU alone, this is 170 watts for GPU alone. So this is huge difference uh, when you compare to Vega 64. So this is it for the beginner's guide part two. We flashed our Vega 64 to Vega 56 to get same hash rates at um, much lower power consumption. Um, if you like the content, guys, please smash that like button and uh, subscribe to my channel um, so you will not miss all future videos. I wish you happy mining and see you. Bye!